Hey, so welcome back, and this is another daily code problem. So today we're doing the problem called group the people given the group size they belong to. And essentially, this is a question by Apple, and all they want you to do is you're given a list like this, and what this means is the values correspond to the size of the group that basically this particular person at index zero belongs to. And so we want to place uh, person zero at in a group of three people okay same with uh, the percent index one two three and four while the person at index five just wants to be in a group of one and then the person at index six belongs in a group of three as well and so what we want to output here is just a two-dimensional array or a list of lists where we're essentially grouping these people in their group sizes oh i mean a uh, zero and then uh, one and two because they belong in groups of three while we can see that uh, Persons three four and six also want to be in groups of three But because we they can only be in a size of three we now have to make a new group of three Where they belong uh, together here now? It's not necessary that they actually are stored in this kind of increasing order But it just happens to be the case how we're doing it and then finally uh, the group member uh, five wants to be in just a group of one, so they're on their own there. Okay, and so how we're actually going to solve this or the algorithm, the data structures that we're using is essentially we're gonna use a hash map where the key is going to be the size of the group and the value is going to be a list of members that belong in that group. And so essentially we're going to look at this list from left to right and we'll say that, okay, Whenever we see that, oh, this person wants to be in a group of size three, then we'll add them to the corresponding list um, to the corresponding key, okay? So they want to be in group of size three. So let's look at size three here in our hash map, then add them to that list. Same with user one and then same with user two. But once we see that, okay, we're also now trying to add a user three here, but we can see that this list is kind of the maximum size it can be. And so once we hit that case, then we simply add that to our result set, like so. So this is our result set. And then we basically copy this uh, list over to here. And then we'll basically just um, reset this back to an empty list. And we can carry forward from there by simply now adding uh, user three, user four, and then, oh, we see that this user wants to be in a group of one, so we make that list, like so. Then we see that, oh, it hit the maximum size of this list, and so we add that as well, since it has a length of one. And then finally, we add user uh, six here. This basically uh, also gets reset to empty. And then we see that, okay, now let's add a three, four, and six to our uh, output here, and that is the a solution like so. Sorry about that uh, crappy drawing. <laughs> but yeah, that's essentially the algorithm. Now let's go ahead and implement this. So uh, essentially, oh, I'll just um, maximize this for you all. So what we're going to do is the first thing is we want to define that hash map. And we're going to be iterating uh, through this list from left to right. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, in and we'll enumerate it so we can get the index because we care about uh, the index of that particular person. And so in our array called group sizes, we also care about, oh, and this is going to be a default uh, dictionary, sorry, where the value is always going to be a list and by default it will be an empty list. So we also want to be having this kind of result set or this two-dimensional array, uh, which we'll be returning at the end here. And so essentially, as we're iterating along from left to right, we're going to say, OK, naturally, we're going to want to be adding uh, each individual to their corresponding group size. So n represents the group size, and i is the particular person that belongs in that group. So uh, at this particular index, we're going to be adding this particular person. And so and maybe I'll just define that. Uh, more explicitly here, so the person and then the uh, group size that they belong in. So this particular person belongs in this particular uh, group size. 
Now that's how we add it. But what about the case where now we filled up that group and we now want to start a new group of the same size? So we can just say, okay, if the um, if there is even a list there, so if um, let's say the group size is in our hash map, so there exists a, a group in our hash map, and the size of that group, so this index is basically equal to the group size or the maximum size of that group can be, then we want to simply add that to our result set and then basically start a new group uh, that's initially empty. And so to add it to our result set, we just say, let's append uh, this particular list um, at this particular uh, group key. And then finally, let's go ahead and reset this back to an empty list. All right, so there's just one edge case here where, okay, the final group here, or the final member of a group will be added at this index, but then its group size uh, will never be kind of added to the result set at the very end here. And so just to catch that uh, final case where we need to add the final group to our result set, since it won't be hitting this case, um, again, we'll just say, okay, well, let's just iterate through um, every group in our hash map here. So for every group, or I guess every essentially uh, list here in our uh, hash map dot values, then we're simply going to say, okay, if it's not empty, then we want to go ahead and just add this uh, list to our result set here. So let's try running that. Oh, I forgot to add a colon here, like so. All right, let's go ahead and make sure it's submitted correctly. And success, so this particular algorithm runs in uh, O of N time and also O of N uh, space complexity as we're using this particular hash map and then the result set to store the information. And then the time complexity is O of N because well, we're iterating through uh, the length of this group sizes array uh, from left to right for the whole size of the array. All right, so I hope that helped a little bit and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.